Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can obtain an extension for SPSS in order to perform zero inflated Poisson or zero inflated negative binomial regression. So SPSS does have a system, uh, a menu uh, driven system that will allow you to perform a standard Poisson or negative binomial regression, but it does not have the capability to perform uh, a regression that involves zero inflation. So that's where you actually would have to obtain an extension in order to carry out that type of analysis. Unfortunately, someone's written uh, an extension and it's easily installed. So what I'm going to do uh, is just kind of walk you through some of the basic steps in order to get that extension. And then I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to perform zero inflated Poisson and negative binomial regression in another video. So you'll see on your screen, uh, I actually have some data already opened up. That's from a Another example. Uh, but basically, all you need to do to get the extension is to go to the extensions hub. If you go to the top of your screen right here and click on extensions, then extension hub, we'll click on that and you'll see this box uh, open up. So you'll notice that there are several tabs. There's an explore tab, installed tabs, and uh, settings tab. So I'm going to go under explore right here and you know, down below it says not installed. So really what I want to look for are um, uh, is basically an extension that has not already been installed. So uh, just kind of make sure that this little button right here down at the bottom is clicked on not installed. So where it says search, I'm going to type in, uh, I'll start typing in zero. Uh, and I could actually just stop right there. There, th This is the actual extension that I want to install. It's called zero inflated count models. So notice that uh, basically, uh, if you click under more information right here, this gives you a description of the, uh, the extension. You'll notice too that it says dependencies and it's dependent on an R package, which is this PSCL package. So if you wanna learn more about uh, that package, you can Google that very easily. Uh, you'll notice too, it says minimum SPSS statistics version uh, is 18. Uh, notice too, that if you go under prerequisites, if you uh, click on that tab, uh, it's just basically highlighting that you have to have SPSS 18 or above in order to, um, to obtain and use the extension. So the current version I'm working with is version 29. So we'll click close right there and we'll go ahead and click on get extension. And then at, down at the bottom, uh, you'll see the OK highlight. So all I need to do is click on that. And next, you'll need to um, basically agree to the, the license stipulations. So down at the very bottom here, you'll see that uh, what you'll need to do is to click, I accept the terms in the license agreement. So we'll click on that. And when we do, the little finish tab is ready to go. So all we have to do at this point is click finish. And then it just takes a few seconds to download and install the zero inflated count model extension. So now it says one instant extension installed. And if we click on okay right here, we can go into our spreadsheet. And if we go to analyze, go down to general linear models, or excuse me, generalize linear models. Um, basically all we have to do is go down to zero inflated count models. So if you're running a standard uh, Poisson or negative binomial regression, you'll have to, you'll want to use the generalized linear models. If you want to use the zero inflated models, then you can go down here to zero inflated count models and click on that. And this is basically what uh, the interface looks like. So just kind of briefly, I'm not going to go into the example in any uh, depth, but I'll just note, it, note that if you move your count variable, this is actually the dependent variable for uh, the example I was working on. I'm just going to move that over to the dependent variable box. Uh, what we need are predictors for the count model and predictors for the zero model. Um, and so just to kind of show you, if I move... I'm just going to go ahead and move a couple of these over. I'm, I'll be discussing this again in another video, but I'll move uh, live bait and persons over to this count model right here. You'll notice that there's a little checkbox that says use count predictors for a zero model. If we want to use the same predictors above for the zero model, we just leave that checked. Um, but if it's the case where you want to uh, incorporate other predictors of the zero model, then 
then you would have to uncheck that and then move those uh, variables over. So just as a quick example, uh, we'll move the child variable and we'll move camper variable over here. And under options, you'll see that you've got the uh, count model distribution. You've got Poisson, negative binomial, and there's geometric right there. I'll just leave it on Poisson and click on continue. Just to show you what it looks like, we'll click OK. So you'll see that there's an output here, uh, basically uh, various fit measures and so forth. When we scroll down, you'll see you've got count coefficients. So these are the predictors and regression coefficients and tests for the count portion of the model. And then you've got the um, predictors, coefficients, and significance tests for the zero inflation portion of the model. As I noted before, uh, I'm going to be going into uh, this um, this analysis in more detail in another video. But again, this is just to kind of give you a general sense of what you're looking at when you um, when you use the extension. One uh, downside of the extension is that it does not incorporate uh, a test of the overall fit of the model. Uh, so if you're uh, used to uh, generating something like a likelihood ratio chi-square, testing the fit of your model relative to a null model, as you would see in the context of a standard Poisson or negative binomial regression, you're not going to get that here. Uh, and there's no way to um, ask for it, unfortunately. So that is a limitation of this particular approach. Um, also, uh, with the count coefficient, these two models right there, there are no exponential coefficients that are generated. So uh, that is another limitation. Whereas if you're using the standard approaches uh, in SPSS, uh, you'll get those exponential exponentiated coefficients. But uh, in another video, I'll kind of show you a little bit about how you can generate those fairly easily. So that's going to wrap up this uh, video demonstration, and I appreciate you watching.